Hey YouTube! So we are having an early 4th of July barbecue and I want to give you a little bit of introduction to the people that are coming and I thought I would ask a really unique question of everybody tonight. We have actually three cup, four couples and a single guy coming tonight and I wanted to ask them a very special question. I'm not sure if they're going to answer it or not. But my question is going to be, what do you like best about being gay and what do you like least about being gay? And I thought that would make a really interesting video once people have had a few drinks and hopefully we can get some really honest answers. But before I start that, we are coming over here to Daddy Brian. Ah, no, not again. <laughs> and you are the official bartender, bartender slash DJ gopher. Yeah, and what exactly do you, what are your drinks you're making tonight? Guy. Um, we are making uh, pomegranate vanilla, vanilla martinis. Okay. We are making blood orange mojitos and mango uh, margaritas. Okay. And are you pretty excited about all the guys coming over tonight? Yes. It should be fun. Good crew of people? Yeah. Yeah? And what do you like best about being gay? Uh, what do I like best about being gay? Um, my first and foremost will always be men, because men are beautiful. Hot! <laughs> I thought you were going to say me. Huh? Well, you're a man. Okay. Oh, I thought yeah. I was a special man. But also because sometimes when you have to really examine your sexuality and fight for it, I do think you appreciate it a little bit more because you're forced to think about it. Good answer. What's the worst part about being gay? That people do not understand that just because you love someone of the same sex does not mean that you are fundamentally different from how they are in any way. Good answer. So what does the 4th of July mean for you? What does the 4th of July mean for me? Well, it's... It's a day we celebrate being able to do what we're doing right here, right now. Getting drunk? Yeah, well, and being able to express our ideas and views on YouTube. Okay. Well, I know you like being the bartender because you're not a super social person. It gives you something to do, mm -hmm. a task, which always makes you feel a little bit better. It does. It and, eases my social anxiety. Yeah, and people like to hang out around the bartender because they're always really cute. Okay, cute bartender. I will talk to you very soon. Okay. Say bye. Bye, YouTube. Hey Wolfie! How you doing? I'm making a video! Of course you are. So you're the official chef today. So yeah. And we got our American flag up there because it is the 4th of July weekend. Yes it is. And we're celebrating a little bit early because 4th of July lands on a Wednesday. Right. So you're the official cook tonight. What's on the menu? Uh, we got sockeye wild salmon. Ooh. Uh, we got some uh, herb chicken. Ooh. We got some Korean chicken. Ooh. And we got some chicken sausages. Okay, well it all sounds very yummy. And you're actually just starting to stoke the, the barbecue pit. Yeah, double grill. But mesquite. everybody knows that, ooh, mesquite in there, that's going to be really good. But the 4th of July is all about barbecues. Yeah. And we are real Americans. And we're going to celebrate with the American flag and some barbecue. Mm. And that's pretty much how Americans celebrate the 4th of July. All right. And we got our drinks over here, and we got our table set up, and the yard's looking really good. So what does the 4th of July mean to you, Wolfie? Uh, food. Always food. food. It's always about food, not about yeah. independence? Independence and freedom. Okay, now I'm asking right. a very uh, question today. What right. do you like best about being gay? Uh, hey, these parties. What else? <laughs> <laughs> What's the uh, worst part about being gay? The worst part? Uh, I share with other friends sometimes. Okay. Yeah, and family. Good answers. That's what I miss. Okay. A lot. Well, but I got it here at least. I'm looking forward yeah. to eating some of your food tonight. Okay, great. Say goodbye to YouTube. Goodbye. Okay, YouTube. So I'm spitting all over the place. Scott is here. What's new? At our uh, pre Fourth of July barbecue, and I have a very serious question to ask him. What are you drinking tonight? Pomegranate, Pomegranate vanilla. vanilla martini. You okay. can't tell, Scott. <laughs> I can tell. Unfriend. What does the Fourth of July mean for you? What does the Fourth of July mean to me? Oh my God. No. Serious questions. <laughs> Those weren't the questions you said you were going to ask. I'm asking three questions. Quickly, quickly, it's only a 10 minute video. Come it's on. about freedom. Okay. And drinks. Are you even Barbecue. officially an American citizen? <laughs> <laughs> because you know the 4th of July is actually about independence. Isn't independence about freedom? Okay. We were trying to get freedom from the British. <laughs> freedom from Brits. Okay, so maybe you'll know this next question. What's the best part about being gay? Penis. <laughs> okay, well this is going on my channel. Bad. Oh, bad man. Scott. Well, you what's didn't hear the worst what part? <laughs> what's the worst part about being gay? Don't worry, I'll put you on the back of the video where no one watches it. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part about being gay? Yeah. Um, Don't say having friends like me. Penis. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like penis. 
No, the, <laughs> the worst part about being gay, I would have to say, is if sometimes feeling uncomfortable around family. Yeah, that's a good answer. Because, okay, like, you're, to, done, you're done. I'm you're done. done. Yeah, I'm I going have, to your have, very like, sexy husband now. Stuff. The nicer part of the relationship. <laughs> Rocky or Roque, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Roque. 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 So what does the 4th of July mean to you, sir? Uh, for me, this is going to sound really bad because I'm Mexican, mm-hmm. but it's always been about family getting together and celebrating. Yeah. No, that's a, that's a good good answer. I mean, it's about, it's the same, it's different for everybody. Yeah. It doesn't have to always be the generic answer. Right. No, this was always, yeah. it's always fireworks and fun and family and just yeah. hanging out and awesome. cheers. And what's the best part about being gay for you? It can't be me being married to Scott. <laughs> That's definitely not. That. second best. <laughs> I, I'm going to say the best thing about being gay is you're free of who you are and you're honest with who you are. That's the best thing. I, I love being gay. See, much better answers. What's the worst part? <sighs> that I don't have my rights. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Well, I'm waiting for a few more victims. Enjoy your drink. What are you drinking tonight? I'm drinking a mango uh, margarita. Okay. Awesome. And everybody's loving the bartender, which is a pretty normal thing around here. <laughs> Yay! Cheers, you two. No, all my pictures have to have a drink in them. No, I'm not taking a picture. I'm taking a video. Oh no! That's no. Not work. Hey, David. How are you? I don't like videos. Welcome to the Gay Family Values Fourth uh, of July barbecue. How are you doing today? Not even July. I'm good. Yeah, you got a drink in your hand. Yes, it's just uh, non-alcoholic. So I have three really important questions for you for this okay. video. What is the best part about the 4th of July for you? Uh, it was the day I moved to San Francisco. Cool. So, so it's uh, your independence. Yes. Where did you move to San Francisco from? From the horrible place uh, called Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> so that's definitely a great independence day. Yes. What is the best part about being gay for you? Um, hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> and my daughter just walked in the room, so make sure it's semi-PG. No, I'm yeah. going. Oh, you're going? Okay. Um, I think just being, uh, I think being able to express myself and being who I am and I don't know. I don't like to categorize myself as having a specific reason. I just like to be who I am. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, a form of it, another form of independence. Then. Yes, sure. And what would be the worst part about being gay? I don't could... think there is a worst part. Not a bad part at all? Mm, maybe for other people that yeah. aren't, that, yeah, but not for me. Awesome. I'm happy. Cool. Okay. <laughs> well, say hi to my YouTube audience. Hello, YouTube audience. And how did we first meet? Well, we first met at a event for marriage equality that was hosted by Zach Walsh. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, and then I went to your Castro world premiere of your movie. Yeah, and, and Zach Walsh was completely awesome. Yes, I like him a lot. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you for asking, my, answering my three questions. Of course. And welcome to our own. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Hey, Big Reed. Why is there a camera in my face? Because I'm making a YouTube video. Why are you calling him Big Reed? Because he's big. You see how tall he is? Mm-hmm. how tall he is. So, Reed, what is your favorite part of 4th of July? My favorite part of 4th of July? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like this 4th of July or the holiday Any in Any 4th of July. Time off of work. <laughs> okay, well, that's a good answer. It all kind of works well together. Now the hard question. What is your favorite part about being gay? You are gay, right? Yes. Okay. Very much so. What's your favorite part? Uh. Spice, Lena. <laughs> That's a tricky question. No, it's not uh, that tricky. What, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? It made me leave the tiny town I was in. Okay, so you, you sought independence. Yes. Uh, it seems it to be a made, common answer this 4th of July. It made me think about who I was mm-hmm. before most people think about that. Very cool. And what's the worst part about being gay? Having to deal with Rick Santorum. <laughs> Samir! Hey! What do you think I'm doing in here? Are you using the bathroom in my house? Yes. Okay, that's bad lighting. Come out, come out, come out. What is your favorite thing about the 4th of July? Uh, drinking. Okay. I've had a very long tradition of getting very, very drunk on 4th of July. Have you had enough drinks today? I'll, I'm getting there. Now here's the hard question. What's your favorite thing about being gay? Uh, man, sex is awesome. This is a gay family values video. It's true, though. You and Scott are both perverts. But it's so you true. Know. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> also, goals are cooties. <laughs> What's the worst part about being gay? Worst part about being gay? I don't know. You have no being, gay is, being gay is awesome. <laughs>
Hi, Mikhail. Hey. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So, I have three questions for you tonight. Okay. And how many drinks have you had? Two. Two drinks. Oh, that's it? Actually, sorry. Three drinks. <laughs> I got so, two drinks that your husband made and one drink from Hanukkah. <laughs> you're originally from where? Mexico City. Okay, awesome. You're a Mexican citizen. Well, you're an American citizen. No, I'm neither one. Okay, so you're going to be an American citizen eventually. No, I'm kind of lazy on that part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a permanent resident. Okay, well, this is a good question for you. What does the 4th of July mean to you? For me, 4th of July means that I get to have a day off. Yeah. It also means that I like that I can live in a country where people can enjoy their own culture. Awesome. Um, you know, I believe in family values. Okay. So I think it's a time that it's good to have a day you can spend with your family together. Awesome. Watch the fireworks, nothing too crazy. Yeah, well, I'm, all, I'm very honored that you're spending uh, this 4th of July, well, pre 4th of July barbecue with us, which is really cool. Thank you for inviting me. Now, the second question is uh, what do you like best about being gay? Um, well, that I'm being myself. You can be yourself. I hate it being somebody else. Okay. So being gay is actually, I can be myself and I don't have to hide anything from anybody anymore. Awesome. What's the worst part about being gay? Finding housing. Finding <laughs> what? Housing. It's housing. really hard to find housing. <laughs> How is being gay hard to find housing? Oh, believe me. I tried so many applications to get housing. And people are like, oh, we already found somebody. <laughs> That's nothing to do with being gay. Mark. Yes. What does the 4th of July mean to you? 4th of July, what yeah. does that mean to me? Does it mean, I mean, what, um, when you think of the 4th of July, of what do you think of? When I think of 4th of July, I think more about memories, yeah. like um, growing up, uh, there's a big park near a river near where I grew up, and they used okay. to have fireworks displays, so I think about fireworks. like cookouts and fireworks and lots of food. Awesome. Always food. Which and, is what we're doing today, yes, minus food the fireworks. and alcohol, yeah. yeah minus well, the fireworks. You know, no, there's lots of fireworks here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now here's the hard question. Yes. What's your favorite part about being gay? My, um, my favorite part. My favorite part about being gay is that it has always made me open to growing up knowing that I was different has always made me more open to lots of things that are quote unquote different. So I feel like it's allowed me to be more cultural and allowed me to be more open-minded about everything in general. Awesome. And I would say that's probably the best part. And what's the worst part about being gay? So many boys, so little time. Yeah. Yes. So that's a very interesting answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I mean, yes. the, the thing about the gay community is we are a very diverse community. We are. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. Yes. Plus, you're also doing this interview a few cocktails in. Yeah. Well, Mikel is doing inappropriate things off camera because he's the perverted <laughs> one. So, sorry. I'm <laughs> well, you are bad. You're a bad guest. I'm just holding his drink. <laughs> okay, YouTube, this is one of my favorite gay couples. And uh, can you guys introduce yourselves? My name is Brian. Oh, mm -hmm. I am Brandon. And Brandon. And they have a, a really incredible son. What's your son's name? Robert. Robert. And where is he at tonight? He Arkansas. is uh, in Arkansas with my family on a farm. Okay. Uh, shooting a BB gun and... Uh, being a boy? Being a boy. Playing, 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 playing with pigs and frogs and snakes. Awesome. So my first question is really easy. What does the 4th of July mean to you? Oh, America. Gosh. America. <laughs> America the proud. Fireworks, family, and fun. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, my, my granddad fought in World War II. And he's okay. no longer with us. And so Fourth of July for me now is a lot about thinking about him and his service and the sacrifices he made for our country and for our family and just remembering my granddad. Awesome. So my next question is, what's your favorite part about being gay? Oh, geez, my husband. That's an easy one. Yeah. My husband. Yeah. Your husband. This I would agree with that. The light of my life. Yeah, it's nice to find somebody who completes you. Yeah. You guys make a really awesome couple. <laughs> Thank you. We try. Okay. Now the hard question. What's the worst part about being gay? AIDS. Yeah? AIDS, uh, AIDS is not very good. Yeah. Um, Do you think that's a gay issue or is it an everybody issue? Well, I'm of the generation who, for some reason, I'm still here. Yeah. And... 
so many of my friends are not. Okay. Uh, so probably the worst part of being gay was seeing so many of my generation and older just destroyed and so many voices we'll never hear and art that we'll never see in photographs and music it's uh it's all gone well, I think it's an amazing thing that you said that because I'm I also from a generation where I, I really don't, I've never met anybody who died of AIDS. So it's definitely different now than it used to be. And you're from a generation where you lost a lot of really special people. So, and Brandon, what's... Oh, geez, it's a complicated question. I, I think that it's just right now there's an enormous... Uh, well, it's a, it's a double-edged sword in a good way and a bad way because we're seeing the struggle that we've been going through for so long. Yeah. We're seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. So I think it's difficult sometimes to feel that you're still having to educate people yeah. about things that are so basic and so simple and so trivial. But that's also a good thing. I'm all about education. I mean, I'm an educator myself, and I'm all about teaching and learning and stretching and it, it is difficult sometimes though feeling like you are um, prejudged before anybody really gets to know who you are I agree so, yeah. so this is why you guys are one of my favorite gay couples because you have really deep answers where a lot of people don't <laughs> <laughs> so you guys make a wonderful couple I'm glad you guys came tonight okay. thank you yeah, thank you for thank being you. a part of this uh, evening with me thanks for having us disturbing food is so good. and you're not going to see Magic Mike no we're not we're gonna we're driving to Calistoga tomorrow for our honeymoon okay and you guys are how many years together nine years awesome yeah. okay well I won't take your gay cards away <laughs> <laughs> okay and I'll hoot and holler for both of you and say goodnight to you too Good night, YouTube. Good night, YouTube.